Hey guys, so PUBG Light just got a new deathmatch mode. It's well made and it's arguably better warm up and more fun than the current team deathmatch. In this video, we'll go over the basic mechanics and give you some tips on how to win more easily. Let's jump right in. So how to select to play this mode, you gotta go in arcade and then you select free for all. Once you get in, there's a long countdown, uh, maybe 80, 90 seconds and Initially, I thought that that was bad because why would you want to wait for so long because it's only about eight players anyway But what you have to do is get a weapon and get all the attachments on it Because if you don't do that right now, you're gonna have to do it in the middle of the match While running without anything in your hands, you're gonna die a couple of times before you can do that So make sure you get a weapon before the end of the countdown so after a lot of experimentation I concluded that the best pick is the barrel with a 3x scope, compensator, half grip, and the extended quick draw mag. If you're comfortable with that weapon, you're gonna own everyone on this map because the distances are really, really small. And with the 3x, you can kind of take the fight anywhere, even in the hallways. The map itself is school, but it's modified. It has little ramps on the side so you can reach certain positions from the outer side. You've got uh, stairs going up like four or five different points. So it's a lot more dynamic than normal school. In the southeastern corner of school outside, you can change your loadout if you want. Of course, you don't want to waste time on doing that during the game. But sometimes it's kind of handy if you can switch around to red dot if you don't feel comfortable with the 3x. Remember, only the attachments that you have equipped during the countdown come into the game the first life though you can have anything in your inventory whatever you picked up but once you respawn you respawn only with the stuff that you had equipped and they give you some ammo to go with that gun and that's it so when it comes to healing you have a passive heal if you're out of combat for about five to ten seconds you kind of fully heal just by staying outside of combat you can pick up certain stuff from the ground, like helmets and boosts, but I find the drinks and the painkillers to be completely useless because they have a 6 second cast time, you can get a kill during the 6 second. Other than that, of course, you want to pick up level 2 stuff and level 3 stuff that you find. You can pick it up really quickly, there's almost no animation. You don't need more ammo. No one ever used up all the ammo. It's almost impossible because you get, I don't know, 180. Now, every few minutes, there's a spawn on the roof. Og and Groza are the only two guns that can spawn. At least I haven't seen any other guns. I think the Og spawns first and then the Groza. They spawn on this pyramid on the roof. It's kind of hard to get to, but I guess... If you can grab a Groza later on, you can really, really shred people because no one else has a Groza but you. And you don't lose it on death. So you can play with a Groza and your barrel wherever you have, but you don't get Groza attachments with it. So you kind of have to go down to that southeastern corner outside and grab a suppressor or an extended mag, or you can just transfer an extended mag and play with an unsuppressed Groza. I mean, I think that's good enough right now for the best spot in the game if you want to farm kills i would recommend this top roof the thing you got to watch out for is there's an additional way to get up from the southern side now on this map so watch out for that you should always be going back and forth between the two staircases and try to watch out for people coming in and pick up a few kills on the guys that are on the opposite side but yeah, you should definitely use this mode to warm up. I think this is the best way to warm up currently. Before, it was probably the team deathmatch or the training mode. This is by far the best, in my opinion. You get everything. You even get to play school a little bit, which is a part of the map that you're actually going to be playing on in the real game. So why not? Unfortunately, the footstep sounds are still messed up in PUBG Lite, so you can't really rely on footsteps. So that is why the roof is one of the best spots, because you don't really need footsteps up there. You can also practice sniper rifles. It's decent practice for flicking and long-range scopes. Of course, you're not going to get a lot of kills, but 
this is not a game where you should focus too much on kills. Of course, if you want to win, that is great, and uh, you should go for it. But then you should resort to something like a barrel or an M4. So that's it. Hope you enjoy this mode. Uh, use it for like 5 to 10 minutes of warm-up for your games. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't miss the live action on my stream at Twitch3 Stash Preezy. See you in the next video.